skills challenge. This is week one. Now in each of the weeks, we're gonna set you a series of challenges, three challenges to be specific, after we've done a warm-up drill. And it's your chance to try and master these skills in what is a confined space. It could be living room, bedroom, a chance to go out in the garden if you get a free moment without a school over the weekend. But as long as it's somewhere that it's quite safe and quite um, empty and free, then you can always do these skills and try and master them as the weeks go on. Okay? All you need is a ball, you need a bit of space, and obviously I'll never always inform you if there's any sort of cones and objects that you need. Okay, this first task today, the warm-up task for us, is going to be triangle touches. It's going to involve us using the sole of the foot, um, twice on our stronger foot, and then once on our weaker foot to create a triangle shape around our bodies. Okay, so I'll start off with my stronger foot on top of the ball. I'm going to drag it past me to touch behind. When I've done that, using my stronger foot still again, I'm going to drag across. I'm going to switch over to my weaker foot, and I'm going to drag back forward again. Okay, a bit faster this time, so start here, drag back, drag across, and then back in front like so to create that triangle shape. Okay, so have a go at that now. I've got a cross, try and do it in three touches, all using the sole of the foot. And if you've mastered that, can you go back the other way? It's using your left. So we go across, around, and then back again, back in front. Okay, so that's our triangle touches. Try and carry that out five times as part of our warm-up. Get faster as you get better, and obviously try and challenge yourself using your stronger side to start with, and then use your opposite side to start with after that. Try and master both ways. Okay, the first challenge this week is the V-shaped challenge. Our best game involves taking V-shaped touches with our stronger foot to move the ball across our body, behind to then take a touch on the other side. Uh, we're going to try and do this on both the right side and the left side. Uh, what we start with, I take a touch out, take a touch behind me, and create that V-shape there. Then I stop in this position. Okay, that's my V-shape on my stronger side. Uh, to be able to return it, I simply I touch out my feet and back across. Touch behind my body, back into this position. So, okay, so in a bit faster motion, we'll try so. So, across my body, touch out, cross my body, touch out, cross my body, touch out, cross my body, touch out. Okay, that's the V shaped challenge. Can you do those at quite a fast pace and can you master it on both the stronger side and the weaker side of your body? Okay, skill number two is the reverse Cruyff turn. So you're probably familiar with the Cruyff turn, but now we're going to do that on the reverse side of our body. We're looking to try and turn the 180 degree um, spin to play the opposite way of the way we're traveling. And um, it's going to involve us moving across the ball with our body, using our, our standing foot, to then be able to hook the ball away and travel back in the direction we had just traveled from. So, travel forwards, foot across, hook, bring the ball away. The third challenge this week is the cutback. So this is where we're looking for a, an instant stop uh, to change direction in the opposite way that we've just travelled. So we've seen a defender, we can't go forward anymore, we're out of space, we're out of, we're out of time, we perform a cutback, we cut back the complete opposite way. Okay? It's going to involve us using the sole of our foot. We're going to look to roll the sole of our foot over the ball and bring it down on the opposite side. Okay? As we do that, that's a barrier, a barrier now to the ball and it's going to help us to knock the ball back in the opposite direction like so. It's like we're performing an outside hook turn. Okay, so in this position, I roll over the ball so it stops and I cut back as quickly as I can. Okay, I'll show you the speed then, it looks like so. So I come forwards and then hook the ball away. And then hook the ball away. With that larger touch, you can see that the touch carries the ball in the opposite direction. 